welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the circumference of circles. First, let's talk about your parts of the circle. When we're talking about the circumference, we're talking about all the way around. Basically, your circumference is the perimeter of your circle. To work on that, we need to also know that our diameter is all the way across. Radius is halfway across. Remember, diameter is a nice long word. It's all the way across. Radius is a short word. It only goes halfway across. When we're talking about area in a minute, we're talking about covering the entire inside of the circle. Also important to remember that for pi, we're going to use 3.14. It gets a little squiggly because it's not equal to 3.14. It's approximately 3.14. Pi keeps going on forever and ever and ever, never stopping, so we just use an approximation for it. Circumference of a circle is either going to be pi times diameter, or we can say circumference is 2 pi r. So why are these both work? If I have one diameter all the way across, it takes two radius to also be all the way across. They equal the same thing. So let's do a couple of finding the circumference. It's going to have to be very careful about what you're given. In this first one where it says all the way across is 10 meters. All the way across is our diameter. So let's go ahead and use this one of circumference equals pi times diameter. We're going to have pi, 3.14, times the diameter of 10. Nice thing to remember about multiplying by 10. Oop, just got to move it over one. So it's going to be 31.4 meters. Because it's like just perimeter and it'd be all the way around, it's just going to be a basic unit, just meter, centimeter, inches, yards, whatever. It's not going to be squared or cubed because it's just, if you took a piece of ribbon and put it all the way around, we could straighten it out and make a circle. So it just gets a basic unit. Let's do another one. This time it's going to have a radius of seven inches. So this time, since it's only radius, let's use this one. The circumference equals two pi r. Again, plug in what we know, times 3.14 for pi, times the radius, this time, of the seven inches. Again, multiplying, I can do it in any order. I think it's easier in your head to go ahead and do your whole numbers first and go, okay, 2 times 7 is 14, and just go, okay, I'm going to have 3.14 times 2 times 7 is 14. You work that out, and you get a circumference of 43.96 inches. Okay? Sometimes it's going to say, okay, if I'm given the circumference, I want you to find the diameter. So if I have a circle, and it says I have a circumference, all the way around is 25.12 feet. How do I find the diameter? If circumference is pi times diameter, and I know my circumference this time is going to be over here, 25.12 equals pi, 3.14, times a d of diameter. This is a formula you should be used to seeing. Just like before, if I have 3.14 attached to my d, Instead of multiplying, I need to divide by 3.14. Both sides. These cancel out. This diameter by itself. And if you had worked all of that out, you would have gotten 8 feet for your diameter. Again, if you want to work that out, you would go top in, bottom out, with your long work. You would have come up with 8 feet. Now let's say you're given the circumference, but you're only given a radius this time. Don't try to find the radius. So I'm given a circumference of 18.84 yards. This time I'm given a radius. So if circumference is 2 pi r. Well, again, what we know. Circumference is 18.84. I need this 2 times 3.14 for pi times radius. So this time I'm going to simplify this first. If I have 18.84 equals 
2 times 3.14, which is 6.28 R. I keep that R. Now this time I still want R by itself, so I'm still going to divide, because it's the opposite of multiply here, by 6.28. These cancel. If I were to work that out, I would have said top end, bottom out. We tie both those fractions. And I did all of that work on a separate sheet of paper, and I end up with three yards for my radius. So hopefully this helps you to figure out how to work circumference of circles. We'll see you next time.